A three people behind bars in Nye County accused of running a huge illegal marijuana farm. Yeah, in fact, it's the biggest pop bust in the history of Nye County in a state where recreational marijuana is legal now. News 3's Gabby Hart joins us to explain why this pot is not. Uh, Jim, authorities seized $20 million worth of marijuana in this bust. The Nye County Sheriff's Department says not only are large grow operations like this one illegal, but they pose a serious safety and health risk to the public. On September 13th, Nye County Sheriff's Department, along with other state law enforcement agencies, made a drug bust for the record books. During the raid, nearly 9,000 plants were seized, as well as 500 pounds of finished and packaged product. The total street value, more than $20 million, making it the largest drug bust in Nye County's history. While possession of small amounts of marijuana is legal in Nevada, clandestine grow operations such as this one is not. Officers arrested 26-year-old Jordan Torres, 38-year-old Eustachio Piedra Robledo, and 30-year-old Jose Mendez Ayala. Authorities say Ayala is here illegally, so they've handed him over to ICE. During the raid, officials also seized several gallons of hazardous chemicals. Many gallons of chemicals such as carbofuran were seized. Chemicals such as these are used to fertilize plants and increase the potency of the marijuana, but are also hazardous to the environment and can leach into the groundwater and poison wildlife. Nye County Sheriff Sharon Worley is warning residents this operation is a part of a larger organization and pot farms this big are usually guarded by dangerous traps and violent people. They're using our resources to make an awful lot of money. And generally, these groves are protected by either booby traps or violent people, because obviously they don't want to lose their, their grow. Uh, so when people are out wandering around the countryside, they, they need to be particularly careful. Yeah, those suspects are all facing serious felony charges tonight. The Nye County Sheriff says there could be more arrests to come. And as far as what happened to all of that marijuana, well, the sheriff tells me that it's been destroyed. They burned some of it and they buried the rest with a special type of machinery. Jim. All right, Gabby, thanks.